Thank you for stopping by up next to his YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be going over the Clover Dining app. As always, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna start at the home screen. You're gonna see your Clover Dining app right here. The Clover Dining app comes with the sit down or restaurant Clover bundle, which is $39.99 as soon as you sign up with Clover. This will come. And now this one's already set up. So you can see that this is for a small restaurant only three tables on their main dining room you can fill up the entire screen with all your tables it's not you know specific to the size of a restaurant we've set this up with places with three tables all the way up to 20 30 tables in a big restaurant so you can customize this however you want now at first look you can see you have your main dining room if you have a backyard patio for outdoor dining which is very very common now in this post covid 19 world you can have that fully set up here also have your patio and of course your bar the bar is cool too because you can customize the seats so if you have a u circle a uh, u-shaped bar you can have every seat bar seat one bar seat two so on and so forth now let me start out with the main dining room very simple this is what your hostess and waiters or waitresses are gonna see on a nightly basis to start a table's order, you simply select the table. This is table 101 or just table one. Four seater, we're gonna go ahead and select that here. Now, as soon as you select that table, you are gonna be taken to the register app on the Clover station. Very cool stuff because now you can order for the whole table, which is commonly used for appetizers. So let's say the appetizer that they want is, let's say, a burger. They want to share a burger, cut it all up. Not sure why anybody would want to do that, but that's what we're working with right now. So we're going to go ahead and select cheeseburger for the whole table. We're going to throw in some fries, some tomatoes, some onions. Then, of course, we're going to go to your temperature, which we're going to go with medium rare. The only correct way to eat a burger, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and select done now. So now you can see on your left side, the whole table wants a cheeseburger with a side of fries. They want tomato, onions, and they want it cooked medium rare. So now go ahead and click these three dots right here. And we are going to fire over to the kitchen so they get the appetizers first. Go ahead and select print. You see, you can either have it printed to the Clover Station printer or the designated kitchen printer of your choice. Now. The customers are ready to start their order for their main course. Go ahead and select guest one right there. Guest one is gonna be going with the pizza. We're gonna go with a plain slice and we're gonna go with a chicken parm slice. You can see it all populates right there under guest one. Guest two, they wanna go with a steak. So we're gonna go ahead and select steak. We're gonna select porterhouse. We're gonna get that thing medium rare. Let's say this person wants light on the onions. You can select a custom modifier there, select done. So now when you scroll down, you can see they want a porterhouse, they want a cooked medium rare, and they want light on the onions. Guest three is gonna be going also with a pizza, but they're gonna be going with a grandma slice. We're gonna go ahead and select grandma slice right there. Now guest four, they're not feeling too hungry. They're gonna be going with a plain slice as well. So now you go ahead and select these three little dots. We're gonna fire them over to the kitchen. Gonna make sure everything's there. Got that, got that, boom, boom, boom. We're not gonna reprint over the appetizer so you can see that right here is unchecked, but the new items for their main course are checked. We're gonna go ahead and select print. You can see here on the order receipt, this would be going over to the kitchen. You can see guest one wants a plain slice. Guest two wants a porterhouse, medium rare, light on the onions. And guest three wants a grandma slice. Guest four wants a plain slice. This is what you, your uh, kitchen workers would see, your chef would see. Now, what's very important here is on the porterhouse, you can see they wanted a medium rare and they want light on the onions. So you can see the indent here. This will separate so the, co the cooks don't get confused. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go over to the next customer. You just hit that backspace that just hit back there. Sorry if you missed it. Now you can see, this table is in blue, so that means it's in progress. This table will light up red, as you can see on the bottom right, if they're sitting more than an hour and 30 minutes. This is important so you don't have any stragglers and you're able to turn those tables on a busy Friday night. Very important. 
So now let's say the customer finishes their meal, they enjoyed it of course, and now they wanna pay. You're just gonna go back and select that table. Very simple, you're gonna go ahead and select print bill. Bill comes out of your printer, just like this. Now, you can see the entire bill. You can see what each guest wants just in case they wanna split it up. So they'll be able to see, all right, so we split the cheeseburger as an appetizer. So that's gonna come out. So we're gonna split $10.40. Now guest one, Joe, he owes this much. Guest two, Karen, she owes $57.20. Grandma slice is free. Plain slice, $2.60, making the total $79.04. That is, of course, the credit card price. You can always say 4% and pay with cash. Your New York State sales tax is here making the total 8586. Now, what's cool about the Clover Station is they can scan this QR code right here and pay right from their phone and you'll have a notification in your device once they pay. But let's say they're going to pay the old-fashioned way. We're going to go ahead and select pay here. Now, if they want to pay with cash, I'll go over that again. If they want to pay with cash, an automatic discount is given over to the customer of $3.04 or just 4% depending on the price, of course. Now we're gonna go ahead and select add 85, pay cash. Now we're gonna print the receipt, payment receipt, of course, over to the customer where they can go on and add their tips and sign right there at the bottom. Simple, easy to use, user-friendly. Table is now released. Now you can go ahead and flip the next table and worry about focusing on the next guest. As always, everybody, thank you so much for stopping by the Up Next YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And of course, as always, in the description is all of our contact information. So if you want some more info on any of the Clover devices or any of the programs that Up Next offers, feel free to contact us anytime. We're 24-7-365. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.